गुड मॉर्निंग ग्रेड नाइन लेट सी डिविजन ऑफ पॉलिनोम बाई सिंथेटिक डिविजन मेथड सो इट्स वेरी इजी मेथड ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ पॉलिनोम जस्ट सी ना फर्स्ट स्टेप राइट द गिवन डिविडेंड फर्स्ट इन टू इन इंडेक्स फॉर्म नाउ इन दिस केस नन ऑफ द टर्म इज मिसिंग यू हैव एम स्क्वेयर देन यू हैव एम दैट मीन्स ऑल द पावर्स ऑफ एम आर देयर सो इंडेक्स फॉर्म एंड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इज वन एंड द सेम now after that write this into the coefficient form what is coefficient form 2 comma minus 3 comma plus 10 this is coefficient form okay now this make just draw one vertical line and one you have to draw horizontal line so one horizontal line over here like this leave some place over here as well as over here all right now this is your first step i repeat again write if it is not in the i mean if all the powers of the given variable do not exist then the standard form you first convert into index form and after writing it into index form you write it into coefficient form okay now this coefficients which you have got you have to write here one by one so you will write here 2 then you will write minus 3 and then you will write plus 10 second step is clear now m minus 5 is divisor write the number opposite to minus 5 over here that is very very important so write here opposite so you will not go wrong opposite to minus 5 is equal to plus 5 so this plus 5 you are going to write it over here third step got it okay now after that this to as it is you will take it down whatever sign is there you will write it there now multiply 5 into 2 multiply this to 5 into 2 and write it over here 5 twos are 10 so that is plus 10 now carry out this addition and subtraction 10 minus 3 is plus 7 again carry out this multiplication 7 fives are 35 so write here plus 35 carry out addition subtraction whatever it is what you will get 45 now there is nothing to perform ahead so stop last number what you get is always your remainder and this is quotient in coefficient form so what will be what will be your quotient in coefficient form 2 comma 7 so if i if i want to write it in in this index form what it will be 1 and 2 two numbers are there so index of or degree of the variable will be 1 2 how many numbers are there from that you subtract 1 all right so here it will be only 2x 1 2 and 3 are you understanding me so first we are writing remainder which is the last number that is 45 and then you will be writing coefficients of the quotient from this how to write it it, it in index form 1 and 2 numbers are there or coefficients are there count the number of coefficients for in this case there are 2 you subtract 1 that will be equal to 1 this will be the degree of your x for example if you are getting quotient as something like this 2 3 4 7 Then count one, two, three, four. Four minus one degree will be three. So this will be two x raised to three. Are you understanding what I'm trying to tell you? Okay. So in this case, so degree will be always less by one number because this will be last number will be only constant. So two x raised to one. That means only two x and plus seven. This will be your quotient. So quotient is two x plus seven, and your remainder is forty five. This is what you have been asked to do. The question is that divide each of the following polynomial by synthetic division method and also by linear division method, and write the coefficient and the remainder. So you have written coefficient and you have written remainder also. Okay. Now division by linear method is reduced from your syllabus for this year due to uh, COVID nineteen. and therefore we will not do division by linear division method have you understood so quotient is 
you can use any variable of your choice. Have they given you a specific variable? Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, look at this note here. N is the variable of the polynomial. So, we have to write here 2m. Okay, be careful. Huh? We are used to write x every time, but look at the polynomial. Variable used is m. So, you need to write here 2m plus 7. This is your quotient. I mean, of the polynomial or division and this is your remainder. So, this is divisor, this is dividend, this is quotient and this is remainder. Got it everybody? Let's go to the next problem. We will do few more problems then it will be clear to you. Now, look at the second problem. Now, here we have our variable x. Okay. Now, check first index form. Check all the uh, this powers for 4, 3, 2, 1 and constant. So, none of the x term is missing. All are there. So, coefficient form will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is your coefficient form of the dividend. Is this clear first? So, coefficient form of the dividend right here. Huh? This is coefficient form of dividend. Now, what is divisor? x plus 2. Therefore, opposite of plus 2 is minus because that we are going to take, alright? Okay, now draw a line. Here also we are going to draw a line and write all the coefficients. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here you are going to write minus 2. First will be 1 as it is. Now see, minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 over here. Are you getting? Now 2 minus 2 you are going to get 0. Now multiply 0 into minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 0 or plus 0, whatever it is, you will get only 3. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Now minus 6 plus 4 will be minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4. 5 plus 4, 9. Got it? Very easy, no? Everybody? So this immediately you put a box and write that this is what? Remainder. Alright. Now count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 minus 1 will be 3. So highest degree will be or highest index or power will be 3. Variable is x. So you have quotient is equal to first write the coefficient form. 1, 0, 3, minus 2. So that is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. So 1 x raised to 3. This 3 has come from 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 1. That is 3. Plus 0 x square. Plus 3 x minus 2. See if you take 3, 2, 1. I mean last term automatically remains constant. So 0 x square no need to write. So we can write quotient. Because they have asked us. Quotient is equal to 1 x square is on x cube is only x cube. Huh? 1 we don't write normally. Plus 3 x minus 2. So this is your quotient. Okay. X cube plus 3 x minus 2. And remainder is what? 9. So write here. Remainder is equal to 9. Got it? Everybody? I think it's very easy. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go to the third problem. Y cube minus 2, 1, 6. Now look here. We need to write your index form because after cube, none of the y terms are there. So we have to take y square as 0 and y also as 0. So your index form is y cube plus 0 y square plus 0 y minus 2, 1, 6. And therefore, coefficient form of this dividend becomes now 1, 0, 0 and minus 21, 2, 1, 6. Minus 216. Now divisor is y minus 6. Opposite of 6 will be plus 6. So here you are going to take plus 6. And here you will have 1, 0, 0, minus 216. 1 as it is down. 6 ones are 6. 0 plus 6, 6. 6 six are 36. 36 plus 0, 36. 36 into 6. Understand the operations. Alright. So 36 into 6 is 216. Now plus 216 and minus 216 becomes 0. Immediately last number what you get is remainder. So this 3 belongs to 
quotient. So coefficient form of quotient is 1, 6, 36. What is the letter? A variable y. So y is the variable. Let us decide what will be the index of y. How many terms are there? Numbers 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. So y raised to 2. Plus, so this is y raised to 2. Plus 6y plus 36. This is your portion and remainder will be 0. Is it clear? Okay. So that's all for today. Remaining problems we'll do in next video. Thank you.